Chinese Rococo painting called Young Woman by Jean Frederick Shaw is a continuation of Baroque art. This type of artwork flourished in France and Germany in the 18th century. Many of the paintings were of mystical figures and mythological scenes that came off as lighthearted and playful because of the use of pastel colors and flimsy characters. 1761 realist work called The Gleaners by Millet was a popular reaction towards the Rococo, rejecting neoclassicism and romanticism. Many scenes were of everyday life featuring ordinary people and objects that some even referred to as ugly because of the sense of naturalism they depicted. In the Rococo art, we notice that the girl is young and already has elaborate curves, which makes the painting even more graceful and delicate. I feel that the girl is fairy-like and almost floating because of the frothy flowers and loose foliage that she is dangling about. I agree with you. However, the sense of stunning beauty as the main attention of the painting is what caused an issue with the viewers. The Rococo artists pleasured the luxury of the rich by exaggerating and stylizing the figures. Going back to the work of the realism artist Millet, the figure's action of picking hay makes the viewer wonder about the moral story behind the painting, which was the overall effect that realism paintings wanted to portray. Yes, it was because of this extreme naturalism that there was still a lot of the criticism to social conditions. People wanted to be depicted as magical as in the Rococo and Renaissance period, rather than peasants and working class citizens in realism work. Instead of a fluffy, exquisite dress, the figures in the realism piece are wearing worn-out clothes that seem dirty from their labor, a mess that would occur naturally. Even the body language is natural. The figures are performing work without noticing the artist. In the Rococo, it's obvious that the young woman notices the artist and is posing as if she doesn't. Her slight smirk and eye roll are key to this element. Also, taking a glance at the color schemes, the painting that grabs my eye first is the Rococo. The light pink, orange, yellow, blue, and green all flow into an attractive light display. These mixed colors make the composition of the figure seem blurry around the edges. Although the young woman is slightly blurry, her right foot steps in front of her left, creating a small depth of field that we can almost step into and be alive in her world. The color palette of the realism work is mostly dark browns, tans, and yellows. To me, the painting looks very plain because of the wide range of space associated with these colors. The figures almost blend into their surroundings. We also see that the depth of field is very advanced in the realism work, going to what seems like miles of field in the background. By studying the gleaners and young woman, you can clearly see the difference of painting styles between the realist and Rococo periods.